And I know that you guys are writing a check for five thousand dollars to the Houston Food Bank for the rest for the fundraiser that we did last night with the Warlord Games. And so we are super excited about that and very thankful for your generosity with that. Um, so, Mike, tell me, how did you how did Nova Open get started? It's a complicated story, and there's the short form and the long form. The long form, like everything, starts with the girl, but I won't talk about that today. The short form essentially revolves around the fact that in my neck of the woods, DC, um, I have a bad habit of being the guy that comes up with the ideas of things we should do. We call that the good idea fairy. The good idea fairy, indeed. And then the person who ends up doing too much and then roping everybody else. In. But um, one way or another, I ended up um, as the son of a cancer survivor, a two-time cancer survivor. Okay. Um, she survived breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Okay. Um, I have an awesome mom and a kind of person that kids that live in daylights out of cancer. So That's awesome. We. We figured we should do something to help those who need help doing the same. And you know, we were having regular 40k tournaments, and it just seemed to me it seemed almost normal or boring um, to do you know, the store tournament. So we had this idea: what if we brought everyone on a bunch of barbecue? All right, cool. Like, well, this is we have a candid feel now. Um, in any event, long story short, we had this charity outdoor tournament, and it went well. And so we decided we would do it again. And somehow, the combination of how we did it and the fact that the gaming population is way more inspired to help than I think people would give it credit for. Mm -hmm. um, led to the fact that the next year we had 130 people show up and we had to go inside because of rain and because of the fact that we had 130 people and it was hard to find a park that could host that. Um, and then the year after that we moved here to the Hyatt, which right now we're just seeing like a backdrop. I wish I could show you the gorgeous Hyatt Regency. But we... Uh, I have pictures on my Facebook good. page of the outdoors. <laughs> Look, it's so, on this Facebook page as well. Yeah, uh, it's on the Warlord Demos team. Okay, so not Sylvia's personal Facebook No, no, not my personal. Probably not the best place to go. <laughs> anyway, so we went to um, the Hyatt, and this is our seventh year at the Hyatt, our eighth year of Nova, our ninth year running an annual summer charity. Wow. And we've got over 2,000 people here today. Um, that is mind-blowing. Mind blowing. Absolutely. Really sure my, as my nine-year-old, you know, just yeah. mind-blowing. It's, it's hard to imagine. The Hyatt's a cool hotel because there's nooks and crannies everywhere. And, and you, you guys know, have put people in every... <laughs> Turn a corner and there's a, a, a seminar going on or suddenly a band performing. Yes. And, you know, it's, a, it's, it's become this cool convention. And one thing that has connected us from the get-go is the, the original event was all friends. And the original event was all friends getting together and, and raising money for good causes. And it's been really important to us to, to carry that on mm -hmm. and have a convention that is not just a convention that you're used to, but a convention where if you don't know anyone, by the end of the weekend, you'll be screaming along with a band to an Irish drinking song, and you'll be high-fiving people who you just met, and when you come back the next year, the first thing you'll do is like grab a beer with them and come a day earlier than you really wanted to, because you just want to spend time with those guys that are just gals that you met at the con and had a good time with. And every convention is a little like that, but the, the, way, the style of it brings people together, um, and the style of it also supports the fact that we've got, as a community, as a community 
obvious. <laughs> no, Some of the most generous and noisy and cheery and happy and fun people. You know what? But that's what it's all about. It's about having it fun with your friends and it all going to a good cause and just enjoying the hobby as a whole. I know this is my first year here at Melbourne, and this is actually the first big convention I've ever really? been to. So you haven't been to the Gen Cons or anything? No. I skipped out on Gen Con this year because it was my nine-year-old really birthday. Girl. But we did have a team there. I didn't get to go to Adepticon this year because I was home with the kids while my husband went. So this is actually my first experience with the big conventions. And you have knocked it out of the park for me. And I can't wait to come back. And That's so. super exciting. <laughs> um, I will say that the volunteers make the con and the attendees make the con. So Your staff has been phenomenal and accommodating to us. But it's so been amazing. Guys, it, this is, you view the con, everybody walks into it, it's our con. Yes. We're going to be together the whole time. We have a charity bar, an ABC licensed charity bar that we all spend time in all weekend long. And that's where, we raised, that's where we raised the $5,000 for the Houston Food Foundation. We did, which was unbelievable. But well, that's what we want. We want to come where instead of showing up with your friends and going out to eat with your friends, you show up with or without your friends and leave the con with a hundred or a thousand more friends than you started with. Which I have, yes. you know, over milling about and doing different interviews on my Facebook page. I have made lots of new friends to include my friends at the Drop uh, Podcast crew that's Thank here. Um, I'm just so bumping off. going to have <laughs> all the <laughs> raw footage. I'm Greek, so I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm Italian, so you know, it's whatever. Let it as it go. We won't let it on the street. It's wonderful. And so that's oh, wonderful. We should do it like together. <laughs> okay, it's good. All right. And it is amazing to see. You have done a wonderful job here at the Yoga we all have yeah, glad to have you guys here tomorrow. I am so happy to be a part of this. I am sorry to say I won't be here next year because I will be in Afghanistan. Well, thank you for serving our country. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank you. Our, a lot of our Warlord demo team is military affiliated, yeah. and we announced today that we are actually hosting the first ever Kabul Khan in Afghanistan, <laughs> and we are going to stream some of the video into our convention in Oklahoma we, City. I, I hope everyone from Nova is about, I, I would say like 30 or 40% of our attendees are veterans. Yes. Um, so that's obviously that's very near and dear to our. In fact, the Fisher House Foundation is one of the charities we support. Yes, and actually, my husband and I are beneficiaries of that because of uh, military affiliated disabilities. Um, the VA actually works with the Fisher House Foundation to fly in family members to give me respite care for as a you know just kind of a break and vacation, and it ensures that our family gets to come and see us. And so even your attendees are benefiting from the charity that you guys are working with. It gets me. Come on, I can't perform a set later. I can't be on the motion on one stage. And so, I mean, all of the stuff, that it, it makes a real impact with what you guys are doing. And I myself am also a cancer survivor. And so I, mean, I, I, I was talking to your mom earlier about that. And so... You wait you know, till now to tell me this. Well, surprise! Yeah, surprise! Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of info. To me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> supremely sunny at all times. And so oh. your vendors have actually been so generous as to commit to sending me products so that I can play games while I'm there so with my comrades. you got to let us know what games you're playing so we can send you like our Nova accoutrement to go around. Absolutely, we would love that okay, because we are going to live feed some of, we're, we're going to try to live feed, it may be recorded footage, into our Warlord Convention in Oklahoma where the Oklahoma National Guard soldiers can have their families come in and view the video footage of them in Afghanistan playing the same games that their kids are playing on the tables. Oh, that's big part. And then it also gives them a transition to come back home and start hobbying and integrating in with their families. And then they have a built-in support network whenever they come to the fantastic. So, and like I said, the Warlord Demo Team is a big veterans uh, team. 90% of our, vet our, our team is veterans. And they are all here. We ended up rolling in here with... 11 people to support our booth. You did. <laughs> 11 you people. Been rocking it over there. <laughs> and so, we, you know, you guys have been extremely generous to us. And so, I really look forward to coming back in 2019. I know you guys will be here, and I can't wait to see how much you guys have grown in the meantime. Thanks for the time. So, I really appreciate you taking the time to see me. I know I've had to hunt you down all day long, begging for this interview. It's just because I wanted to get hunted. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the first set. I almost feel like I shouldn't even. Yes. <laughs> so, but uh, I guess corny things. So, what's your favorite moment so far? Oh, my favorite oh, moment so far. 
it, it's a hard call. There's the moment where you realize, you know, so we hit 2,000 people for the first time this year. Cool. And I'm like, like, got there with this awesome display that I mentioned management system that our volunteers have built. And I'm like watching that. He has CS hit the 2,000 mark, and I'm like, you know, like, I. I did geek out at that point. I was like, geek, <laughs> oh, it's Nobody else is like, you hit 2,000 people? And I'm like, yeah, you do. No, man. Um, that's so that was a high. Yeah. But also, out in the charity bar just now, we're doing that, that Irish drunken drinking song. And hundreds of people, hundreds of people with, with a beverage for charity in hand are all singing along. And you know, there's this national airport and the U.S. Capitol out behind us in those mirrors. And the airport's taking off the landing. And it's just, it was definitely like a, a warm moment. It's also a really low song, and I have to sing a bunch of high songs soon, which I can't sing. So there was also that high point because it's only going to go downhill from there. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's all for that a good moment cause. of being surrounded by people doing good things for good causes and having fun all day. It was basically the high point. So far, what has been the most stressful? Thing? Oh. Well, what, what getting you ready for the con. Getting ready for the con. <laughs> so everybody volunteers for the con. Nobody volunteers for the like bajillion hours getting ready for the con. And yes. that's in August. I work in the government contract and it's day and night. And I work on Nova. And we come here and we're like, ah, vacation. Not vacation. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we all burn our vacation days for this and we're working yeah, right. like a dog. But then everybody shows up and everybody pitches in. It's fun and it's exciting and it's exhilarating. And so this, this, the most stressful point is right, right before we're like not sure if we're gonna get there. Like that last forty-eight hours. You're like, are we gonna make it? And everybody's yeah. like, turn around ready to like murder each other because we've forgotten what we're doing. <laughs> we have the same problem even with the smallest of the warlord conventions. We have the same problem. Yep. So it it doesn't matter how big or how small you are. Like Especially if you do there. it right. Sure. Exactly. And if you don't stress about it, then you're not passionate about it. Probably true. Um, is there anything that like maybe you want to add on or things that you want to talk about? No. Every year, like no more, or whatever. no more new things. I don't know. Every year, and every year we're like, let's add all these new things. Let's see if we can not add new things next year. That's my all the stuff. The new thing I want to do is no new things. That's the we are this like magically full blown all this love and warmth in the air. I'm gonna DC Keegan next year and do a Skype interview with you, and I'm gonna ask what new things that you add. It's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool, man. Well, yeah, thanks, thanks for uh, yeah, yeah. talking with us. And uh, like she said, you know, you guys are doing a great job. And it's a great job. So, thank you. It's excellent. Well, yeah. this wouldn't be possible without you, though. I mean, willing to give up all the time with them and work with them, it's a huge deal. So, thank you very much for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Because with the Warlord team. She's basically way better than me. <laughs> we at the Warlord team are big on the families. Our entire family is getting involved in our kids. And as a matter of fact, one of our sons is here with us helping run the booth. And so I love seeing how the families all get together and support each other through this. So I really appreciate you giving him up to us for the weekend. And it's, it means so much to all of us nerds that are here. <laughs> because without you doing that, we couldn't have this wonderful thing that you would out to. Transcripting friends and family. Absolutely. From day one. All right, guys. All right. Brittany. Brittany. Oh, okay. Thank you. And thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.